And in the blink of an eye, whoosh, Julian Draxler is turning 29 this year. The guy is almost 30, and it feels like he's still just a promising up-and-comer. That same sort of condition that Jesse Lingar had, you know? Still a promising player at 29? Yeah, I mean, Draxler definitely has Lingarditis. But I think it's safe to say that the ceiling for Draxler was always considered to be so much higher. I mean, he was one of the most hyped players you could find in European football when he was in his teens, up until his early 20s as well. He won the World Cup, he carried Germany to a Confederations Cup win, secured a move to PSG in the winter of 2017, and then PSG had a statement summer signings-wise, and well, Draxler has kind of been missing ever since. Hey guys, I'm Adrian, and thank you for joining me for today's video where we look at the sad story of Julian Draxler, sad by his own doing or a mishandled talent. I leave that for you to decide. Of course, I'll share my own opinion as well, whether you ask for it or not, <laughs> as we go through his highs in Germany and his stuttering career abroad. And what makes this all the more interesting? Draxler, along with a few others from PSG, hasn't been invited on PSG's preseason tour, allegedly, calling into question even more so what is going on with him and his career. This info came out when I was editing the video, but thankfully doesn't really change the premise of the video. If anything, it kind of adds more to it. So with this in mind, let's go, shall we? Draxler has the rare honor of being in the, well, hang on, it's not so much a rare honor anymore. So let's just say that Draxler has had the honor, just an honor, of being in the Wenger Almost Signed Him Club. The guy's in incredible company. It seemed like every summer there would be a fresh link or stale link, depending on how you wanna look at it really, which would muse that Arsenal were finally going to sign the German dude they are constantly flirting with, but not really making the first move with. A lot of talk, no action. Regardless, in Germany, he has been a household name for a long time. Time. At 17 years of age, he became the fourth youngest player to play in the Bundesliga at the time when he made his debut in January of 2011 against HSV. From there, he went on to make 24 appearances in that debut season, cementing his place as an important player and continuing on that trajectory. He made 46 appearances in his first full season with Schalke, found his scoring touch in the 2012-13 season, and despite a few injury-plagued seasons, earned a move to Wolfsburg for 36 million euros plus add-ons. Damn, I said season a lot in that span of time. However, his move to Wolfsburg was a, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as calling it a disaster, but it was disappointing to say the least. After one season in which his time with Wolfsburg was described as Draxler resembling a quote, foreign body within the team, Draxler asked to leave the club, to which Wolfsburg agreed, but he couldn't secure a move away before the 2016-17 season began, and so an embarrassed Draxler returned to Wolfsburg squad, getting booed by the Wolfsburg supporters, and later looking back on the time as, quote, the worst half season of my career. PSG, and of course, Arsenal, tried to prize the young German away from Wolfsburg, the young German world champion, by the way, as he was part of the squad that won the 2014 World Cup, despite getting limited minutes at the age of 21. In the end, it would be PSG who secured Draxler's signing in January of 2017, as the then 23-year-old put pen to paper on a deal that was rumored to be worth around 42 million euros in transfer fees. Draxler's first half season with PSG, January to May of 2017, was actually a massive success with 10 goals and three assists from 25 appearances across all competitions. Plus, his time with Germany at the aforementioned Confederations Cup was a further testament to the kind of form he was in at that time. It felt as if he'd finally found a platform to grow as a player at PSG, and him captaining Germany and leading them to Confederations Cup, eh, glory, at just 23 years of age was a testament to his ability as well. I know some will roll their eyes at the thought of Confederations Cup glory, <laughs> but all things considered, he was voted the player of the tournament and captain the country. I mean, there's not much more you can ask of the guy, right? He can only play who's in front of him. However, that same summer, PSG's already intense, we'll call it, recruitment policy reached its final form. Both Neymar and Kylian Mbappe were brought to the capital, two players who like to occupy the left as well. Suddenly things looked far more difficult for Draxler, but he still managed to have a relatively good season as far as appearances and assists go during the 2017-18 season, but every year since then has seen fewer and fewer appearances, whether due to other players being preferred to Draxler or just a host of injuries. Curiously, in May of 2021, this past year, Draxler was handed another contract with PSG for a bit less money than his previous one, though it is understandable as to why he signed it. When Pochettino rocked up in early 2021, he utilized the German more and his belief in him paid off. 
From 25 appearances, Draxler was involved in eight goals under Pochettino. He was getting closer to his early form at PSG. But in his first full season under Pochettino, that being the 2021-22 season, injuries led to absences in the first half of the season and in closing out the season as well. In total, he started just eight of his 24 appearances, two of which coming in cup competitions. This combination of injuries and having to compete with the likes of Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, and Di Maria for playing time will have certainly made things difficult for him, but why sign that three-year extension with all of this in mind? According to the likes of Manuel Veit, friend of the channel and trusted Bayern source, Bayern Munich's interest in Julian Draxler during 2021 was legitimate and they were even willing to offer a better deal financially to Draxler than PSG was ready to offer. In fact, Draxler was in the top 15 most highly paid players in Ligue 1, but he took a cut to his salary in order to stay with the club. Why exactly would he do this? I mean, let's consider that for a second. To his credit, the arrival of Pochettino would have felt like a potential turning point for him, but that of course was a false sunrise, as just a few months after extending with PSG, Messi signed with the club. That's yet another player in the attack that is automatically going to be chosen ahead of you, along with Neymar, Mbappe, and Di Maria to an extent as well. Pochettino tried to find minutes for Draxler by playing him centrally as well, sometimes deeper than he would like, which can work with his skill set, but the wings are where you want to see the German plying his trade. It already seemed like it would be difficult to find minutes for Draxler even without one of the greatest players joining the team. We can also give him a bit of a pass, only slightly, for not pushing for a move this summer, as you could chalk up 2021-22's disappointments down to an injury-riddled season. Sure. That works, but if Draxler continues to stagnate at PSG over the next season or so, and he does it quietly, questions have to be asked of the soon-to-be 29-year-old whose career has taken a nosedive since joining PSG, at least in the years following his first half-season and then full-season at the club. He went from an extremely promising young talent to taking the Bundesliga by storm with Schalke to getting included in Germany's run to winning the 2014 World Cup, taking on the mantle of captaining and leading Germany to a win at the Confederations Cup with their second squad, it must be noted. And I mean, it's tough to have a definitive answer as to why his career has tailed off a bit with him in some part being complicit to the direction his career has gone. I mean, did he simply not develop into the talent that he was originally predicted to become? That's a possibility for sure, just as his injury record doesn't make it any easier for him. Does winning the World Cup at 21, a relative young age in a football career, kill the ambition of certain players subconsciously just a little bit as you essentially won the top prize at the beginning of your career? That's an interesting argument as well. Or is Draxler seemingly caught in a never-ending let's give it one more year in Paris and then we'll change it up if things don't get any better type of cycle. I mean, we all get caught in that same cycle with our personal life, whether you're working for a company that doesn't make you happy anymore or feel valued, working in a field you want to eventually get out of completely, or hell, even in a relationship you want to get out of. <laughs> what have you. We all get stuck in these, it will get better, just give it a bit more time sort of cycles where we find ourselves lying to ourselves. Or perhaps Draxler is one of those players who sees football as a job and is happy to collect trophies on autopilot in Paris while getting paid a great salary and living in one of the greatest cities in the world. I mean, that's absolutely a draw, but something tells me that may not be the truth of it. Or at the very least, I would be very surprised if that was the truth. Like anything, in my opinion, it's not black or white. The answer probably isn't just one of these aspects, but perhaps a mixture of all of them. People are nuanced and their decisions are as well. Maybe Draxler has failed to become the player we all thought he was. Though there are few players in the world football that would get selected ahead of Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe. And I like to throw Di Maria into that equation as well, but you guys probably know by now my love for Angelito. <laughs> so there is that aspect, plus the dream he would have been sold on in order to get him to stay at PSG. Stay with this club. As you know, we are ambitious, and if we achieve our dream together, then you will be an immortal in this city, and your name will be attached to a Champions League winning campaign that will go down in football history. I mean, it can be difficult to say no to that, coupled with the cash and the lifestyle. Not to mention that perhaps winning the World Cup at such a young age can 
potentially alter the ambition of a player subconsciously. I wouldn't rule that out either, personally, as not all players are constantly starving for more and more success no matter what they have achieved. Well, with regular playing time going with it, of course, because he's had a lot of success at PSG. They just rack up trophies season after season. But regardless, only Draxler knows for sure what's going on between the ears. He spoke months ago about how he was going through a tough time at PSG and said, quote, we'll see when speaking about leaving. So he is at least aware that his situation is not a good one and he needs more consistent minutes in order to break back into the German national team for anything more than some friendlies, as he did back in March of 2022. He never made another appearance for PSG that season, by the way, thanks to another injury, this time to his knee. That's another huge aspect. Draxler has understandably fallen out of favor for Germany as well. He wasn't even included in the squad for Euro 2020 as Yogi Löw said, quote, when I look at the last two or three years, he hasn't played regularly. He was also injured several times. It was a tough decision, I have to say it honestly. And I bring this up just to show how far he's fallen in his career. The international football is not the be all end all within the football world, but it is a genuine marker or guideline to see how a player is doing. If their own country isn't picking them to play, then they must not be considered one of the top players, or sometimes there's other politics going on, of course. But as a general rule, not getting selected for your country equals you're out of form, or you've fallen way down the pecking order. From an incredibly sought after talent to winning the World Cup at a young age, captaining Germany, captaining Germany to the Confederations Cup victory, moving to a big European club like PSG, and then poof, Nothing after 2018 to make a mark at the club or national level. If there is anything to take from this, it's that Draxler needs to leave PSG and put this five year span of his career behind him before getting back on track again. I think that him falling out of favor for Germany will have been a massive kick up the ass and probably mark a change in his mindset surrounding his time at PSG. Anyways, that's all for this video guys. Draxler was such a fun player to watch back in the day and I realized that I mean, I feel like I haven't seen him do anything noteworthy for a long time, a very long time. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and otherwise drop a like to let us know if you like this video. I'm Adrian, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon. Take care.